Hi all, Mrs. Arndt here. Today we're going to take a look at creating the axle for the T9 Automoblox 2016, that's the blue truck, and we'll be doing that in Autodesk Inventor. So first off, on this axle drawing, we can see that there are a number of line segments, a number of dimensions here, but what we are going to do is just create the top half of this part in Autodesk Inventor. And then once we've done that, we can rotate it around a horizontal axis, and that will create the cylindrical feature of the axle. So let's get started. In Autodesk Inventor, open a part file, and let's create a new sketch. We can put this on pretty much any plane we wish. I'm choosing the XY plane. And to start with, we're just going to create all of the lines to kind of exaggerate the shape or exaggerate the features of that top half of the axle. So I do want nice perpendicular uh, segments here. But occasionally these horizontal lines or markings will show up. I want to try to avoid those. Um, I don't want to place any constraints. This is one constraint that I do want. Um, I want to go past the uh, y-axis there, um, but the horizontal constraint that's showing up, I do want that in place. Those are the same height. Continuing on. At this point, I do want to avoid um, these horizontal lines that are popping up. Here we go. And then there are some uh, jagged pieces, uh, these ridges that show up on the axle. All three of them are exactly the same height and the same width. Avoid those horizontal constraints again. But I do want perpendicularity here. Uh, there we go. Once again, avoiding any constraints. This is a constraint I do want. It should be straight below uh, the other um, vertical line above. And then to finish off the part, uh, the drawing, make sure that it does turn green in that corner. So we do have a nice closed figure. So this is the basic shape of the top half of this axle piece. And we do need to start dimensioning. So let's start with horizontal dimensions. And we'll give it the full width here, and that is 0.86. That definitely scales it down quite a bit. Um, but now that we have the full width, uh, let's start going left to right. Um, this first little shelf is 0 0.05. From the left edge to this side. We have a width of 0.45, and that starts to throw things off because we haven't dimensioned some of these um, lower pieces quite yet. So let's actually undo that. I don't want to change the shape of this. So let's go to dimensioning this segment. We're at 0.25 here, and this segment is 0.19. All right. So we still have the same basic shape. It is starting to look uh, a little funny. Uh, this dimension it looks like when I undid it, it changed it, but didn't um, redimension that. Uh, so let's put that back to 0.45 like it should be. If we continue dimensioning horizontally, this top shelf is 0.2. Over on the right, these uh, jagged pieces, each one of them has a width of 0.06. And so when we create the next one, if I want it to match, I'm just going to click on that first dimension. That way it will be driven from it. And same for the third ridge. Looks like I wasn't very careful when I was um, 
creating these. This height didn't quite match up. Um, we'll be able to fix that when we get to those vertical dimensions. So if we continue with the horizontals, this little shelf is 0 0.05. The shelf above it is 0 0.1. And the same for the shelf on the other side of the ridges is also 0.1. So it starts pushing some things around, and I do believe those are all the horizontal uh, dimensions that are needed. As you can see in the corner, it still says 12 dimensions needed, but that's because we haven't placed the vertical constraints yet. Click Finish the Sketch. We'll get a chance to save our work here. So we might call this Axel. Don't forget your initials. I'm calling it version 1. Uh, it's my first attempt at it. 